Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, barriers that were meant to be broken. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Very, very, I say unto you, the Son of Man can do nothing of himself, but what ye see the Father do. For whatsoever things he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth. And he will show him greater works than these, that he may marvel. John 5, 19 through 20. We live in the greatest days the world has ever known. No longer is the industrial a forefront, but now it is the information age. Greater accomplishments recognize achievements. New challenges are the quest for today's visionaries. We live in a time where men are consumed with breaking records that their predecessors once achieved. Humanity is looking to do things faster, greater, higher, and beyond what now is considered the norm. When the Wright brothers broke the barrier of gravity, it changed the face of the world. But in this past generation, Chuck Yeager took flight further and faster and broke the sound barrier. But while Chuck, Oville, Wilbur, and Glenn have all passed the scene of this life, there is one barrier breaker who still lives on and is still breaking barriers and his name is Jesus Christ. Because of him, there is no limitation to our possibilities. For the Bible tells us, For with God all things are possible, and that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. He was dead, but now is alive forevermore. God now has the keys, not only of death and hell, but all those that unlock the gates to every barrier that was made to be broken. When we look at the possibilities through the power of the provision of God, our vision expands, our dreams are captured, and we are able to reach out and touch the limits of our being to break the barriers before us. Paul puts it like this, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. A barrier by definition is something that divides, that separates, and comes in between. The Syrophoenician woman had a barrier of dispensation the wrong time. The woman was pleading for her daughter pitiful condition. Jesus ignored her, then clarified his mission was only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then he appeals to practicality, for it is not meat to give the children's bread unto dogs. That is where he left the door open to her. The barrier is almost now broken. Then her faith stepped through that barrier and turned the tables on rejection, saying, True Lord, but even the dogs gets the crumbs that falls from the master's table. <laughs> I want you to know today, church, that if you've got the barrier breaker, then you are able to break the barriers in your life. He that believe on me, the works that I do, shall he also do, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Be encouraged today, that every barrier that is in your life shall be broken. The thought of the day, God now has the keys, not only of death and hell, but all those that unlock the gates to every barrier that was made to be broken. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.